Hello everyone, this is Rohi Shankar Mane and today in this video lecture we are going to understand organic matter decomposition. Let's start with introduction. Now see organic matter decomposition it is a biological process which occurs naturally and this process is speed up or determined by the different factors such as soil microorganisms or organisms and the physical environment and the quality of the organic matter. In this decomposition process, different products are released such as carbon dioxide, energy, water, plant nutrients and synthesized organic compounds. Now these compounds we are going to see in the cycle. Successive decomposition of dead material and modified organic matter results in the formation of more complex organic matter called as humus. Now humus is the important one for the soil fertility and all that stuff. This process is called as humification and humus affects the soil properties. The most important source for the organic matters are plant remains, animal tissue, excretory products and cells of microorganisms. So this is all about the introduction of decomposition of organic matter. The next point is organic constituents of the plants. Now these are the important constituents which are required or which are meant for the decomposition. First one cellulose most abundant about 15 to uh, 60 percent of dry weight hemicellulose 10 to 30 percent lignin 5 to 30 percent water soluble fraction includes simple sugar amino acids aliphatic acid 5 to 30 percent of tissue weight fifth one ether and alcohol soluble constituents fats oils waxes resins and number of pigments last one proteins now these are the some six main uh, plant constituents are involved in the decomposition now the next question arises that who and why will do the decomposition of organic matter. Now first important thing is that the soil fauna is important in the decomposition of organic matter in that earthworms and rhythrophores. Now here the fragmentation increases surface area distributes organic matter within the soil profile. Now next one soil organisms that is microorganisms heterotrophic bacteria and fungi. They derive energy carbon and nutrients from dead organic matter in the process they release CO2 through the respiration so soil fauna and soil microorganisms are required for the de decomposition of organic matter and why they do the decomposition of organic matter so supplying energy for growth supplying carbon for new cell synthesis the cells of most microorganisms commonly contain approximately 50 percent carbon this is derived mainly from the substrates so mainly this decomposition of organic matter is required or is carried out by the soil fauna and soil microorganisms and they took or they take the energy from that decomposition of organic matter they take carbon source or energy source and they do their cell synthesis now decomposition process now first point is the assimilation now assimilation means what the conversion of substrate materials into protoplasmic materials example organic carbon to microbial carbon next step is the mineralization now here conversion of organic substances to the inorganic form Example protein from organic material will be converted to inorganic nitrogen in the soil. Third process is the or step is the immobilization where conversion of inorganic form into organic form occurs. Example inorganic nitrogen from the soil converted to the microbial protein. Now we can see this reaction where the ingredients are converted to the product. The ingredients are the organic matter that is CH2O and oxygen. When the CH2 and oxygen comes together that is aerobic condition. It gives us nutrients that plus H2O and CO2. These are the energy chemicals. So this is the decomposition process where assimilation, mineralization and immobilization is required. Now these are the some factors which affects the rate of decomposition. First one temperature. The microbial activity responds exponentially to increase the temperature until enzymes denature. Now see the uh, microbial enzymes are active at optimum temperature. That's what we have to maintain the optimum temperature. Otherwise decomposition will not happen with absence of enzymes. Moisture. Now we know that moisture is required for the microbial growth and we have to maintain the optimum moisture for their growth and then and then enzymes will be active at optimum moisture pH. Now here also they require optimum pH for their growth that is around 7 and if we are if fungi are there then optimum pH around 5 we have to maintain optimum pH then and then at that pH their enzymes will be active and then and then they will work or they will do the decomposition of organic matter so this is all about the decomposition of organic matter where the microorganisms and soil fauna is required thanks a lot